ToyTractorTimes.com is here at the 2016 St. Louis Farm Toy Show. We're here with Peter Hogue, who uh, has a great display with lots of activity going on. Uh, thank you for bringing the display up to the show. Um, well, uh, this farm is modeled after kind of my farm and then kind of multiple farms over in Illinois where I live because they're, as you can see with the beef operation, it's the kind of an old dairy farm. So they took the dairy farm and made it into a beef operation because there's actually been a lot of dairy farms around where I live. My dad used to milk cows when he was younger to make some money. But, so I wanted to put that into the display and kind of switch it over to a beef operation. And they're uh, loading some steers right now and they're going to take them off the market. And they're not taking too many because the market's down a little bit. They're hopefully going to... Hopefully it'll get up, so they're taking the 1,300 pounders now off the market. And then over in the corner we got the, the pulling part of the display. And uh, on the sled right now is Marshall Myers pulling tractor. Um, he was inducted into the National Pulling Hall of Fame. And that's a almost complete replica of his uh, pulling tractor. I'm still working on it a little bit. What model international does he pull with? He actually pulls with a 966, but there's a 1466, and he's got a shield over it, so I'm going to cover up the motor with the shield and put the same shield that he has on there. But I, bought, I customized it up a little bit from the original, because the original had a cab. And then we got some more pullers over here, because uh, the farmer decided that he wanted to have a pull off to show that his was a little better than everybody else's, so he invited all the farmers over, so they got some too hot too hot to farm tractors over here and then they also got some trucks that are going to see if they can pull too. Looks good. I, I guess the 9030 down here is uh, disking yep. up the track. And yep, the 9530 just got done disking up the track for him and then he's on lunch break right now so he just kind of parked where he stopped. We got uh, one of the farmer hired hands bringing the anhydrous in on the field. Uh, they'll lay down the anhydrous for the next year. Then we got a couple of them trucks uh, that think they're they think they're gonna win. They're getting ready to pull into the main entrance there and kind of go in there and see what they got. And then over on the shed area we got a scale model of my dad's shed that we have at home. And at the moment they're unloading or they're actually unloading the shed and loading a trailer to take uh, to a local horse farmer um, with a 4020 with a Holisher uh, hay accumulator attachment for a 10 bale pickup. So they're taking out the manual labor involved in that one. That's always a nice thing to do and see the hay mow inside here. Yep, that's about 1500 bales. It would be about that size of a hay mound. And then they had to empty out that part of the shed so they kind of just parked all the equipment out in front. And then behind the shed here, we got Jason Ogden brought a load of gravel and he dumped out the gravel and they're spreading it out through the farm. They're shedding it out through the driveway there with the John Deere skid loader. And then after they get done with the cornfield, they're going to switch over to the beans. Um, they had a little bit of a wet hole, but the field doesn't look too bad. They had some weeds growing, so they took the sprayer over it one more time to kill all the weeds. And they finally died out. And then we got the house with the in-ground pool and the play yard for the kids. And the family, the family's all stopped by for harvest season. So they're in there getting lunch. We get another shot of the shop here. Yep, the shop's there. got a FW40 in there and then a 6030 John Deere with a two-row corn picker. Getting ready to go pick some more corn for the feed calves. <laughs> a little, looks like a garden here. Yep, we got a sweet corn patch with uh, some sunflowers for the doves. And they put some snow fence around it so the dogs wouldn't get in it, but it didn't quite work because the dogs like to tear the sweet corn right off the, mm. right off the <laughs> stalk and then carry it around the yard. It looks like a hang operation going on. Yep, uh, in the hay operation we got a 6210R pulling a baler 
uh, John Deere, brand new ground baler. He's dumping a bale right now. And uh, this is a typical site for when we're baling hay. Is you, we either got the ground baler going or we got the square baler. And then over here, um, here I am with the 966 with a black stripe, pulling a New Holland hay rake and a John Deere hay rake that I customly did up myself. Um, to kind of show the, because we have uh, one with three tires and it's got the one tire in the front, so it gives it a little bit more stability. And then in the shed there, we got the S660 getting ready for harvest. They just started corn, so they ain't in too much of a hurry, but they're going to finally get that one done. And I got it illuminated with some LEDs to show, uh, show the track, uh, combine off a little bit. We got the bead header there, waiting to get out after the semi gets done unloading. We got a 4240 on the loader and the auger there. That looks like they're getting some corn off out here. Yep, we got a 9500 John Deere, uh, 50th anniversary edition. Um, going pretty hard and, and for corn. He's get, uh, got a little bit of cab corn going, but. Ain't too bad. Which means it's an extra good year. Yeah. <laughs> and what tractor's on the grain cart here? Um, it's a 82 four, or, yeah, 8420 uh, John Deere. It's the same one that we run in our grain cart. And then he's pulling the big old Kinsey 1300 tracks. And then we got a Pete 359 uh, pulling a Wilson Hopper Bottom. I custom did the peep myself to model after my dad's semi. You gotta look at the. He just got full, but he got ran over a little bit, so. And then over here we got the 350 Steiger with tracks heading out with the new accelerator out of the back back field back there. It's a neighbor farmer just kind of showing off his new equipment. And on the street over here, we got the D, and it's sitting there taking pictures. It's uh, modeled after my aunt's, my aunt Cindy's D, and her husband's sitting there on the on the end of the edge of the dock there, kind of just looking at the fish, seeing how many are in there, trying to count. It looks like an old farmel tucked away back here. Yep, it lit on fire one day, so they kind of just pushed it over there and. We might get back to it for a project someday, but you never know. There's a couple horses in the pasture, but not many. It's just kind of a thing that um, I wanted to resemble because I actually sell most of my hay to a horse farmer, so I want to put a few horses in there. Sure. And then we have a 9330 model after ours, uh, pulling a 512 ripper. And that's the tractor that we just traded our 8300 in for. And it's a great tractor. We haven't had any problems with it yet, so that's always a good thing. 9330s are a popular, popular John Deere full drive. It's like cows are eating a little bit of yeah. deer corn. So they spilt a little bit when they were putting in there, so. But they're getting quite a bit of it. Well, thank you for the tour of your display. And appreciate uh, we enjoyed seeing your farm out at the National in Iowa in November, and good to see another big display here in St. Louis. Thank you very much.